technology has allowed us to find new pathways to our communities, new connections, and, and crucially, crucially to take out geographical proximity, being near to people and stop mattering. I think it's really important if we're going to build healthy communities we have to think about what health is and I think a really strong part of health is feeling connected to your fellow human beings. People feel quite isolated amidst all that connectivity because it's about contact. We have to make sure that we stay uh, personal and local. There are communities you can build with the super connection like the Facebook type communities but nothing will ever take the place of, I think, real human interaction. A woman goes to see her doctor because she has a chronic disease. She's part of a community of everybody around the, around the world who has that condition. And they then have a passion to actually solve that problem. And they not only share information, but they can use collaborative decision making. And that's happening now. I'd love to see communities designed so it's e healthier and easier to get outside, more walking paths, more biking paths. And as human beings we have a habit of thinking that what's different is bad and that what's familiar is good. So what we consider to be healthy and unhealthy I think will evolve over time. We need to set up as many opportunities for people to connect in a human way with one another. Switching off time is one of the most important things that communities can do to stay together in a super connected world I think. You know, let's talk families even as the, the core of a community unit.